Hey everybody, okay, I'm going to address a repetitive question, which is totally fine. I am so glad you guys are asking, um, but I just kind of wanted to put a lot of answers in one video, and hopefully that really helps you guys. So here we go, we're going to do multiple color vinyl. Um, I have three nieces, so I'm going to make them some Christmas shirts that say, Tis the Season to Sparkle. So here we go, Tis the season to sparkle okay now um, call of ops duty isn't exactly the most girly font out there so I'm gonna change that but first I'm gonna center my words and I'm gonna use cutie patootie because that's a cute little font okay and I went ahead and spelled sparkle with all caps, but I don't like it as well as I thought. So S P A R K L E. I hope I'm not the only person that spells out loud. And I hope I'm not the only person that looks at a word a thousand times and thinks, is that spelled right? That doesn't look right. Ugh, the life of a silhouetter. Okay. So from here, let me just make this bigger so you guys can see. All right. I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to paint each word that I want to be a specific color, all that color. So I'm going to do tis, and I'm going to hold shift, season, and I'm going to paint those red. Now I'm also going to draw some rectangles. And I need a lot of them. So, whoops, I will, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to my multiply or re replicate window and I'm just going to say um, a column of four which I know right now that I'm going to be using a bunch of different color vinyls so I'm just going to make a couple extra blocks why not okay then I'm just going to set a block here and I'm going to set a block here and I'm going to select I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click this and this and this and I'm going to say make that a compound path that is going to make everything the same color now I'm going to choose the word the hold my shift key and choose the word two I'm going to change my line color this is so important to green and fill it green as well now I need to add two more blocks so I'm gonna actually change those the same exact color line color and paint color as my um, words the and two and I'm gonna put them right on top of the red now I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm gonna click click whoops I shifted them a little bit that's okay you can just hit undo hold my shift click click the word the and the word two, and I'm going to make that a compound path. Now the last thing I have to do is the word sparkle, and I want two more blocks, and I'm going to make those gold. So line color, I'm just going to use yellow because that makes sense. That is gold. Now I'm going to take this, stack it up once more, and if you don't get it right on, just use your arrows. Click on the box and move it with your arrow key to get it perfect okay I'm gonna click the word sparkle and shift hold shift click so not shift hold shift click shift click and I'm gonna make that a compound path and there you go okay now I can delete that I am um, just want to add something for fun I want to show you guys another quick trick on the Samantha font Samantha Upright. Hopefully you've um, looked into this if you purchased that font. But um, I just want to put like a little kind of curly something underneath the word the. So I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type character map. There it is. And I have obviously use this often because there's my little curl. So I'm going to choose that one and then I'm also going to choose maybe another one just to see and then I'm gonna copy them and I'm going to paste okay and I obviously didn't select the other one so I'm just gonna go back double click 
select, copy, paste. Okay, now I got them. Now you're probably wondering, like, oh, those are really cool squares. Laura, thanks. Nope, you got to go to Samantha, and they'll change. All right. I'm going to ungroup these, and I'm going to see how I like this. And I actually think I like it under the word sparkle instead. So I'm just going to scoot that right there. And I'm going to select that with the um, squares in the word because I want that to be gold. Or if you want to be fancy and you want to make it part of the red, you can just do shift and click tis season. Right click, make it a compound path. Now it's going to um, cut with all the other red stuff. If I click back on the word sparkle, I just want to move these aside and show you that the squares are still yellow. So I'm just going to scoot them back over. And green, same thing. I'm just going to show you guys the green square is still there. See it peeking out? Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your um, cut settings page. And you want to click advanced. And now I have all three colors. If I would have left my line color on, say, sparkle, let's say I would have left it the default red that my computer is for some reason, it's so thrown off because now it, now I'm like not sure what's what. So make sure you change the line color as well. That's going to help you big time. So here we go. We have all three colors. It looks like a stoplight. How nice. Um, so what you want to do now is you're just going to click green. And it's going to cut the green blocks, the word the, and the word to. Load your cutting mat. Put your green vinyl on it. Cut that out. Once it's done, take it off the mat. Put your red cardstock or your red vinyl on the mat. Load that. Choose red. Unchoose green. Cut that. Once that's done, take it out. Take it off the mat. Unchoose this and then choose your gold. Load your cutting mat with your gold and then cut that out. Now what you're going to have is you're going to have three different colors all cut out and they're all going to have these cool little blocks with them that easily you can just line up perfectly once you get it out of off of your machine and it's going to be in your hands so you're going to be able to see it a lot easier than you're moving with computer mouse and everything will line up just as you had designed it to do so. Okay? Hope that helps you guys. Hope that's what you were in need of. Um, if not, let me know and I'll post another version or something else for you guys. Thanks so much for all your um, positive feedback. And please let me know if there's anything you guys want me to show you how to do. I'll definitely take a stab at it. Thanks so much.